Also this morning, I was reporting uh, some breaking news on SiliconAngle.com of uh, Chris Lynch, ex-CEO of Vertica, a big data firm, um, who just he recently stepped down from Vertica, has joined an East Coast venture capital firm called Atlas Ventures in Boston. Chris Lynch is a maverick and well-known in the, in the Boston tech community. He's joining Atlas Ventures. And uh, it's interesting because this is a signal to a changing venture capital landscape. Venture capitalists are adopting what is what I'm calling the Andreessen Horowitz model, you know, which is the gold standard right now on the West Coast and that's dominating in all aspects of venture, early stage and growth deals. And I think the Andreessen Horowitz business model for startups and for entrepreneurs really comes down to one thing and one thing only. Entrepreneurs in today's climate do not trust venture capitalists. Venture capitalists have not earned the trust of the younger generation of venture capitalists. So what's happening is they're using peer review to understand who to trust. And really it's about choosing a partner. And so what Andreessen Horowitz has done is they've, obviously have Mark Andreessen, founder of the browser, and Ben Horowitz, successful CEO and operator, technical guys who have built companies. These guys are in the trenches, been there, done that, but they're real entrepreneurs. They have earned the trust of the entrepreneurs. That is exactly what Chris Lynch represents in Boston, a guy who's in the ecosystem, doing investments, um, angel deals, and he's moved to Atlas Ventures, and he's just being transparent about it. And I think what's interesting is, is that that's the model. The big VC firms can do both early stage and big deals, and that kind of straightens out the dynamics going on at the angel networks and super angels. So, Dave Vellante, um, welcome back to the Cube. Um, what's your take on the Boston scene? Okay. That's your neighborhood. In terms of innovation and, and startups, and I think that's a big reason why, you know, Lynch, Chris Lynch, has been <laughs> kind of on the warpath lately, really trying to get the Boston mojo back. Right? He used to work at Digital back in the heyday, and now he's, as you know, invested in 10 big data companies. Uh, but this move today, as you pointed out in your blog on SiliconANGLE, really marks a change in VC, right? Because there aren't a lot of products out there, right? And you're seeing this sort of ecosystem emerge where you got the little guys, even though they're still wealthy, competing with the big guys. And so, as you pointed out in your blog, this is an opportunity for Atlas to bring the entrepreneurship mojo into the old mine VC. And I think in Boston, Boston's got a ways to go. But the great thing about Boston is a lot of young talent there. MIT, Harvard, it's, it's a fantastic environment um, for organizations yeah, that are looking for talent. Well, here's Dave, here's the thing. Um, I'll say I live in Palo Alto, it's the heart of entrepreneurship. Uh, Boston has lost that mojo, although Boston is the center of an entrepreneurship as well. Uh, MIT, we were at Harvard as well, and they're in Cambridge talking to the top startups in Boston uh, uh, last week. And I got to tell you, entrepreneurs care about one thing. They care about building a company and making money, okay? And anyone who tells you otherwise is full of it. Entrepreneurs want to be rich. But that's not the primary motivation. It's just more of a scorecard. No one, no one likes to say, hey, I started a company and it was poor. If they do that, they can do a nonprofit. And people who do nonprofits are the ones who actually made money. So the philanthropy comes post success, right? So entrepreneurs want to make money. But again, making money is a scorecard. Entrepreneurs have passion, uh, they have an invention mindset, and ultimately they don't trust venture capitalists. Venture capitalists are looked at as Ivy Tower, MBA from Harvard, Stanford, all these schools, no, no experience. The most successful venture capitalists in Silicon Valley doing the best deals, and even in New York where folks like Fred Wilson and Chris Dixon have emerged as the more of a social, you know, real-time VCs, the ones that are successful are the ones that have experience, and they have the trust that they've earned from the entrepreneurial community. And there's a rapid acceleration of information flowing via these social networks about people. Oh, he's full of shit, he's good, he's bad. And so what happens is it's a real efficient market of data. The business intelligence, if you will, of the venture community is within the circles of the peer group. So it's a trust thing. And what Andreessen Horowitz has done was they've started with $50 million fund, okay, a few, few short years ago, and have now Small fund, right, yeah, relatively speaking. Mark Andreessen told his limited <coughs> partners, according to my sources, that he was going to do an early stage fund and invest in, in early stage companies, got $50 million in, in So what do you do? <laughs> he pops it all down on Skype. Not a bad call, but he's early smart, stage. Early stage, <laughs> early stage spin in, but with the Silver Lake Partners, um, he's also on the board of Facebook, on the board of HP. The guy's got his hands in a lot of different pies. So okay, but he's he's made some good moves, got a good partner. But the thing about Andreessen Horowitz is that they do good deals. 
they do big deals, they do early stage deals. I mean, hell, Instagram was a small seed investment. They still made a lot of money. So Andreessen Horowitz is the gold standard in venture. I think this move with Chris Lynch is a, with Atlas, which is a firm that not, people, not a lot of people have heard of, is, is going to take that model and run with it. So well, I expect Lynch to make a lot of investments and not hide the ball. Not say he's a micro fund, super angel. It's totally transparent. Well, and, and John, as you know, when we met with uh, the entrepreneurs in Boston last week, o- over half mentioned Lynch. Oh, he's invested in our company, or he's a mentor, or I want to meet him. Or, right? He definitely has some mojo there that he brings to the table. And um, so, you know, hey, being from the East Coast, I hope it works in the, out. In the big data community, which is the hottest sector both uh, in for distributed computing and mobile and social, um, Chris Lynch is a player, and like you said, over half um, know him, respect him, and have either taken his money and or as a mentor to. So, you know, that's the kind of credibility that an Andreessen Horowitz has with being entrepreneurs in California, and hence they've doubled their partnership, and they've got massive amounts under capital, billions uh, under management, and they're vertically integrating with PR firm. So, you know, Andreessen Horowitz is the gold standard. I can tell you right now, Greylock and Benchmark and Excel and Sequoia are all trying to meet that new standard, and there's a little silent war going on in Silicon Valley around those firms, around uh, you know getting back the reign of being the number one VC firm in, in Silicon Valley. Um, and and you know that's.